A U.S. federal judge has revoked bail conditions for former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort, sending him to jail pending trial after a charge of witness tampering. Now, the former campaign manager of Donald Trump it will be held in jail until his trial in September. Now, Paul, uh, Paul Manafort had been accused of, he had said, conspired to uh, corruptly persuade two potential witnesses to the whole investigation into Trump on their accounts of lobbying on behalf of political parties inside of Ukraine. In other words, uh, they had lobbied Trump. And what they're accusing Manafort of is telling them to say specific things to cover up uh, the very nature of the lobbying that they were doing. So it's, it's very clear that Paul Manafort is covering up something. Uh, this may not even have to do with Trump, but he is covering up some criminal act of some, of some kind if, if he's being charged with this. Now, it should be noted that last week, the special counsel Robert Mueller filed new charges against Manafort, as well as a Russian citizen and former Manafort operative, Konstantin Kilmanik, uh, charging both of them with conspiracy to obstruct justice and obstruction of justice. So here we have more charges coming in about obstruction of justice, uh, changing people's stories, uh, manipulating testimony in order to, essentially, you only do this unless you're trying to cover up something you did that was wrong, or at least in violation of the rules. So it seems uh, very likely at this point, there's a lot of charges going around for cover-ups and things like that. On Friday, Mueller's office convinced Judge Amy Berman Jackson to revoke Manafort's 10 million bail, which enabled him to remain on home confinement since he was the first indicted in October. Manafort will remain in pretrial detention until his trial in September. He also faces a separate trial in Virginia set for July. Now, some of the charges that have been leveled against him uh, include conspiracy against the United States, conspiracy to launder money, acting as an unregistered agent of foreign principle, and uh, making false and misleading Foreign Agents Registration Act statements and false statements. So there is a great deal that they're actually coming after him for things that he actually did or things that they're accusing him of doing wrong. They're essentially having him act as a completely underhanded man who was, uh, sorry, businessman who was making all kinds of connections for Trump, probably taking in a lot of campaign money and probably a lot of other dealings as well. Uh, all of it uh, in complete violation of U.S. law. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised at something like this. Trump is a member of the bourgeoisie, reportedly a billionaire. So for him to do regular bourgeois things, to have regular bourgeois corruptions, is really should not be surprising in any way, shape, or form. Now, of course, a lot of this is being brought down on him because he stands in opposition to other members of the bourgeoisie. Trump has been uh, very one-sided than all of his approaches, not diplomatic and not making concessions. So he has totally done things in favor of one side of the bourgeoisie, completely alienating the other, and thus the other is now going after him. Whether or not there's any connection between this and alleged election interference by Russia is a completely different matter altogether, because right now what this is really about is dealing with regular corruption and influence that... Uh, political parties and uh, wealthy people in Ukraine have used to gain influence for the U.S. president. Now, it's interesting to know that Ukraine is not Russia, despite the confusion by many people. So, I mean, what are we seeing here? We're actually seeing interference by Ukrainians, and uh, many of the Ukrainian parties that are in power right now are essentially either overtly fascist or closet fascist. But we are supposed to believe this big boogeyman of Russia coming in to manipulate the elections, to get a, a puppet in charge, etc. When here we have significant evidence of uh, what is essentially a pro-fascist uh, pro country now trying to uh, influence the president and, and may have conducted some form of bribery, maybe whatever it was that was going on that it seems Manafort is trying to cover up. So maybe a lot of the, a good deal of the microscope should be taken away from Russia and put on Ukraine because as it stands right now, the only real corruption there seems to be right now, the only interference, the only real connections to Trump seem to be coming out of Ukraine. 
and not Russia as much of the media would have us believe. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.